Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and I know you can tell by the title. Um, I will be doing the 16 through 21 pregnancy update. So if you would like to hear all about my pregnancy thus far, keep on watching. So this video will be a tad bit different. You know, of course I do have my phone because that's where my notes are. But I also want to try to insert pictures of my belly bump during those weeks so you can get an idea of how big or how small I was. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with 16 weeks. And surprisingly, I have nothing for 16 weeks. So literally, all you're gonna see is a picture because <laughs> I don't have anything. And on to 17 weeks. Um, I have the nausea and vomiting did come back. I only vomited once during this week. The mood swings um, were, I guess, terrible because I put mood swings, OMG. So they must have been through the roof. I was taking more naps during this time. I had this need for chocolate and I was craving Dr. Pepper. And I still do, like anytime we go out to eat, please get me a Dr. Pepper or a Mr. Peel. that's what I want. On to 18 weeks. I have 18 weeks and four days. I, I felt the baby move. Y'all, it was so exciting. And the only way I can explain it is, is it feels like the eye twitch, but in your stomach. Or let's just say, y'all know how your, your muscle spasms and your leg, it feel like that in your stomach. It's, it's so weird to explain. I also experienced headaches, and then, um, I don't know if y'all remember from my last video, but I was saying how I crave Fruity Pebbles, like Fruity Pebbles was one thing I had to wake up and eat. I could honestly eat it every meal of the day. Well, Fruity Pebbles did not taste the same during, well, by the time I hit 18 weeks. And I don't know if it was because we were in the process of moving and I didn't have Fruity Pebbles for maybe two days, and then when I went back to eat them, mm -mm, it tastes nasty. And I also fell um, in my when I was 18 weeks pregnant. Now I was taking pictures. I'm really, really silly. So I was left. I was in a squatting position. So I was already close to the ground trying to catch the best picture. But the people that I was taking pictures of, they made me laugh. So when I laugh, I get weak. Like if I laugh, excuse me, if I laugh hard enough, I get weak. So I was laughing and trying to get up at the same time and I just kind of tilted over. I didn't hurt myself. I didn't land on my stomach or anything, but I definitely did fall. So that kind of had me a little, let's say, um, it just kind of had me on the fence. Like I was, I was being careful after that, but I never thought that I would have failed while pregnant. Kind of crazy. On to 19 weeks. By the time I hit 19 weeks, I was not sleeping comfortably at all. 19 weeks and five days, I felt the baby move for sure. So at 18 weeks, four days, I thought I felt the baby move, but I didn't feel it again. But by the time 19 weeks and five days came, I for sure felt that baby move. Like I know that was, um, I know that was the baby moving. I went to the doctor at 19 weeks, and that's when I found out that we were having a boy. So he is a baby boy. My arm was low, so because my arm was low, um, they did put me on iron pills, which I'm not upset about, but I do know that iron makes you constipated, and I told y'all in my last video, I was already struggling with constipation in my first trimester. Then I wasn't taking any medicine, so you know, I was fine. My body was starting back to regulate itself. My hormones was getting back right, and now they done put me on these iron pills, so yeah. And then I feel this weird, I was feeling this weird sensation in my belly button where it actually felt like my belly button was tightening. Like, it just kind of felt like somebody was twisting my belly button from the inside and it didn't hurt or anything, but it was such a weird sensation. And I kind of liked it. <laughs> and I was, I had to stop drinking water after a certain time because if I drink water at nine and I'm trying to go to sleep by 11, by one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, I'm going to the restroom. And I'm the type of person that I want to sleep through the night. I don't want my sleep disturbed. Don't wake me up if it ain't an emergency. So I told myself like, you better stop drinking water after a certain time. And that's what I did. So it kind of helped with me going to the bathroom during the middle of the night. And also in 19 weeks, my body hair increased. Y'all, the amount of hair that you grow while you're pregnant, oh my goodness is ridiculous like i got hair all up my leg i got hair in between my fingers i got hair in between my toes i got hair probably on the bottom of my feet like oh my goodness <laughs> i'm being a little dramatic but y'all you grow so much hair it's crazy and it grows so fast now on to 20 weeks and this it, it gets kind of funny so just listen i'm gonna skip the good part <laughs> so we did our registry um i will have that available so um 
yeah i guess if you want the registry you can send me a dm i won't like publicly post it but you can send me a dm if you do want to buy anything for the baby i had anxiety like symptoms so i was experiencing like heart palpitations if i was just in the car and i saw something it would make my heart race and that was kind of scary i did get my hair cut in my 20 week mark and my nail growth I'm fouling and cutting my nails like every five, six days. Like my nails grow so fast and I'm not like upset about it, but they grow fast. I find myself like scratching nails sometimes or scratching myself on accident because I'm not used to my nails being so long. Now this is the funny part I was telling y'all about. Y'all, I might have been laying across the bed and <laughs> I sneezed. And when I sneezed, a little pee came out. A little pee likes. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay, I, I know I ain't just peeing on myself like, Kim, you ain't never peed on yourself before. Why, like, what's going on? Like, okay, I'm thinking this is just on accident. So I thought it was me. I didn't think that, you know, I'm just laying around peeing on myself. So of course I had to get up, do what I had to do. On to 21 weeks, we could feel the kicks on the outside. And I say we because Zell actually felt him kick. Like he was kicking, I was like, Zell, you know, feel my stomach, put your hand right here. And the baby kicked him twice. So of course we were so happy. My belly button was starting to push out and it still is continuing to push out. I had a doctor's appointment. Now at the doctor's appointment, uh, baby boy was weighing 18 ounces, which is equivalent to one pound, three ounces. I was kind of, um, I was kind of nervous because when I was looking at them measuring him, they measured crown, I think to bottom or to rump, I don't know. But he was measuring 20 weeks and six days. And at the time I was 21 weeks and three days. So if you do the math, and um, he was like four to five days behind on his measurements. So that kind of made me nervous. And then I know when I got in the room, they were saying, oh, a baby boy is on the smaller side. And I'm like, smaller side? Like, I eat. Like, what do you mean on the smaller side? But I did have a doctor's appointment after that, which will be my next update, where you will see that he is measuring what he's supposed to be measuring. He's actually measuring really well. And then I don't have the... I think you call it the linear navel, the dark line that most pregnant women get going down their stomach. I don't have that line, so I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want it, but I know like that's one thing that I kind of been watching for. Like, am I gonna get the pregnant belly line? But I don't have it. Now these are some questions that I asked my doctor when I went to my 21 week appointment. Um, I asked her about my sleeping posi positions because I am still sleeping on my stomach and she told me that you know the baby will let me know when I need to not be on my stomach but it, I was okay to sleep on my stomach. I also asked her about the heart palpitations and she said it's okay it was due to the it's due to the amount of blood that I have flowing through my body and um, also just the hormones in general. I also asked her about my weight gain because if you all know I did lose 20 pounds in my first trimester and she said um, my weight gain isn't like, um, it wasn't anything to be alarmed about but you know they do expect for you to lose weight so she was like I was fine. And then my, I asked her also <laughs> when will my next few appointments be become invasive? So right now like I haven't had to you know get stripped down naked since my, I think it was my 8 week appointment so she said that I won't have to do it again until 35 weeks and up and that's when they start to check to see you know how far dilated you are and all the other stuff that they do I don't know but I wanted to know when I need to come in here prepared <laughs> So I did tell you that this video would be a little different. I have four questions that I will answer at the end of each video to kind of let you know where I am at that very moment in pregnancy. So my first question is, what do you like about being pregnant? And I honestly just like all the attention that comes with being pregnant. Like the women at church, them ladies make sure they tell me how beautiful I look, how I'm glowing, how adorable I look. Like, y'all, the women at church make me feel so good about myself. And of course, my husband, he always gassing me up too. But you know, it's just, I just like the attention. It's just so sweet. Like, I never, there's not a day to go about it. Somebody's not reminding me like, oh my goodness, you're pregnant. You look so pretty or this, this, and this. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> my second question is, what do you not like about being pregnant? And I do not like the fact that I cannot sleep through the night. Like, I toss and turn a lot. Um, I feel like I'm kind of disturbing my husband's sleep. But 
I do not sleep well at night, so that's not fun. What am I excited about? Is the third question. And I'm excited about doing his nursery. I'm just excited to meet him. I'm excited that Denzel and I are his parents. Like, one day he might feel like we the best parents in the world, but right now I feel like I have the best child in the world. Like, I'm honored that he's my child. I just, I love him so much, I really do. And the last question is, what are you nervous about? And y'all, I'm nervous about this glucose test that's coming up. Um, I don't care about what it tastes like. What I'm concerned about is that needle. Uh, going to my arm, I'm not a big fan of needles, but I'm not terrified of them either. But don't nobody like to get a shot. And I'm also like, I just want to pass it. Like, I, that's just the one thing that's been on my mind lately. Like, I know I got to take this test. I want to pass this test. Lord, help me get through it. Like, what do I need to eat? What do I need to drink? Like, oh, just let me pass this test because I don't want to be in that office for an additional three hours because I failed it. So, yeah, that's what I'm nervous about. And that concludes this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I wanna keep you all updated on my pregnancy. So if you have any questions for me, you can either DM me or you can leave them down in the comment section and I will answer them for you. And of course, as I always say, I love you, but God loves you more. Bye.